Hello everyone and welcome to Messages from Venus. This is a review of the Creative Whack Pack. Um, this is a 1989 uh, publication. And the Whack Pack is a deck that, of course, I think, I want to say it's out of print. I don't, I think you can still find it, but I, I want to say it's out of print. Um, and I think this deck was initially just a deck to share I'm like looking at the, the pamphlet because I haven't read the pamphlet in a long time but it's it's used or it, it was meant to be used to share um, or um, give yourself an oracle reading regarding what your day was going to be like um, or what if you were starting a new project what your your project was going to to be like um, it's divided into sections it has the Explorer which is the blue um, it's the blue, let's see, it's regarding green, green, red, and blue. And so each card has a different color, even though the imagery is black and white, but it has different colors in the words. And the blue represents, um, the explorer is your role for discovering and resources you'll use to create new ideas. The orange is the artist, is your role for transforming your resources into new ideas. The judge is the green, or the green cards, is your role for evaluating an idea and deciding what to do with it. And the red is the warrior, which is your role for Im implementing your idea. Um, and I, uh, to me, it's a little bit of a fun game or, or card game. Um, but if you are a reader and you're not using this deck for yourself, these are the backs, which I feel like are absolutely hideous. But if you're a reader and you're not using this deck for yourself or to try to help yourself, um, and you're just pulling cards for yourself, I mean, um, if you're not just pulling cards for yourself, you can always play like games or make it interesting for clients and due to the fact that you can separate the, the colors um, depending on the question that they may have, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I like did my nails and one of them already messed up. Anyway, so, and they're also funny. Like this one says, give yourself a kick in the seat of the pants. They're a little extensive because they give you, it gives you examples and it also leaves you with questions that you might want to answer for yourself, which sometimes... Um, is a little difficult for the client because the client is coming to you to answer questions that they have. But this deck is good for um, general readings. It doesn't only have to be for career-based readings. Even though these, some of these cards are very obvious, like sell, sell, sell. It's just for create, um, creative and uh, work and career-based questions. So, um... For the most part, yes, you can use it for that. But I feel like you can still use it for general readings. And give your own kick to the story. The cards, colors um, are black and white except for some of the words. It has no borders. And it's really in your face. Like once you pull, it's very accurate. It's disgustingly accurate and it's very to your face. Um, I bought this deck at eBay, not Amazon. And I think I bought it for very cheap. For a deck that hasn't been published since 1989, it's a very cheap deck. I'm not going to show you all the cards, you guys. But it shuffles nicely sideways like this. The cardstock is very thick, even though it's um, cardboard. But it's like it has a little shim to it. I don't know what that means. Um, like a little shine to it. Shuffles like this. Um, you can shuffle it like this with no problem so easy to shuffle <clears throat> and it's it's a little small it's small you can fit it it's like um maybe four and a half inches four or five inches so you guys get yourself a creative pack um this deck is not only good for uh like i said career readings but sometimes it allows you and helps you to create a game plan before um 
just jumping off of an idea like for example mercury is retrograde this deck is wonderful for just jotting down your ideas having a game plan so when mercury goes direct you can go ahead and do what you have to do for yourself um let's see so yeah great deck uh, I don't know much about the artists like Roger Van Hooch or 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 Hooch. I'm not quite sure. I don't think it says much. Yeah, no, it doesn't say much about. Um... Oh yeah, it does. It does. So it has a little bit of a history in regards to. Like what organizations he worked for. So he worked for a lot of the big dogs. Apple, CBS, Coca-Cola, DuPont, General Electric, Sears, etc., etc. So he's very successful. So it's always good to see that a successful person can create um, a, a deck of cards. And then you know that they're going to work because they're going by example. So wonderful deck to have in your collection. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.